Hillary Clinton is sitting out. Another one today choosing not to hold a rally for supporters. Instead, her focus is said to be Monday's first presidential debate. And her staff seems to be working overtime to get a leg up on the competition. Correspondent Jennifer Griffin reports. While Hillary Clinton stayed off the campaign trail to prepare for Monday's debate, an interview she taped with comedian Zach Galifianakis was posted online. Do you wonder what your opponent might be wearing? I mean, do you... I, I assume you'll wear, you know, that red power tie. Or maybe like a white power tie. That's even more appropriate. With anti-police riots raging in Charlotte, North Carolina, Clinton running mate Tim Kaine weighed in during a campaign speech in Nevada. There is a need to build better bridges between law enforcement and the communities they serve. Hillary and I understand that. A day earlier, Clinton tried to rally a union workers convention by video link. Why aren't I 50 points ahead, you might ask? An answer may be found in a new NBC Wall Street Journal poll that shows Trump leading Clinton 41 to 31 percent in terms of trustworthiness. The campaign attempted to address that shortcoming in a new radio ad with First Lady Michelle Obama. It's the highest stakes, hardest job you can imagine. That's why I trust Hillary. Today, the Clinton campaign updated its tax plan for billionaires, a 65% estate tax. Overall, the Clinton plan increases taxes by $1.5 trillion over the next decade, according to the Nonpartisan Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget. Her new plan would raise taxes on estates valued at over $10 million. The new top rate of 65% would only apply to a few hundred households, the campaign told Fox News. It would have to first pass a Republican Congress. Before ending his interview with Mrs. Clinton, the star of Between Two Ferns jumped on the chance to take a shot at Clinton's Achilles heel. We should stay in touch. What's the best way to reach you? Email? The campaign is hoping she'll be asked about more than just her emails on Monday night, Brett. Jennifer Griffin with the Clinton campaign. Jennifer, thank you.